thank you, Jesus. I've got so many things to say. If all I've got what a mighty God we serve. I've got something more than Jesus. Glory to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Well, I'm so excited. God has been too faithful from the beginning of the year 2021. This is the last week in 2021. Hallelujah. Is God not faithful? He's so faithful. And it's in that in that excitement that we are we are so so glad that he has not changed. You know what songwriter said? You are the Lord, you change it not. Oh, yes. <laughs> you are the Lord, Lord you change it not. Oh, you are the Lord, you change it not. He see, God that doesn't change you wouldn't fail. Lord. You know, was not elected. He is just God all by himself. Oh, yes. And we give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is activating power oh, prayers. Yes. And we want to celebrate God. I'm Reverend J.S. Jonah. And of course, you know that I, uh, Bible says, what God has joined together, not even a program will put us on. So I'm with my beautiful <laughs> wife. Oh, Pastor Joy, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I, hope I, I believe I've said that a couple of times this season. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And of course, amen, you know, amen. Jesus is the reason, He's for, the reason the for the season. He's the reason for the season. Whatever it is that you think you, you, you want to do this season, let it be bothered around our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If that your outing will not glorify Jesus, it's not worth it. Mm. If that money is not for the glory of God, it's not worth it. Yes. You know, if that out in a lot of people in this season, in the festivity, they lose their guard and get mm. into immorality, get into all kinds of things. People who, who are God. actually been keeping themselves in the whole year, being consistent with God, they lose their guard and then once sleep, they start taking alcohol or start, uh, you know, and start getting into relationship. These are the season, unfortunately, where we see all kinds of incest and abominations, cousins making passes at cousins, people, you know, all kinds of evil things that happen. But much more than the evil, we are not celebrating evil. We are telling you to emphatically embrace the good in this Stand season. In the right. See it as a season and a time to to just um, uh, reminisce, take inventory, you know, put things in place, preparing for what God will do next year. As you end the year in a blast and you start the new year with force, Hallelujah. God will go ahead of us. 2022 Hallelujah. is already blessed oh, yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So this morning we are looking at ending well and to start well. To start well yeah. So Pastor Joy, Praise you're welcome. The Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, Daddy. Morning, morning, morning. And good morning. morning to you out there. Yes, it's the last morning. week of the year. Wow. The last month, the last week mm. of the year. Mm. This is the last Monday we are going to see in 2021. Oh, the next Monday will be 2022. Yeah, and we are <laughs> dealing with the topic ending well to start well. Wow. You can't start well when you have not tidied up things. Mm. So we are trusting mm. God in this week. We are going to tidy up whatever it is. Mm. That is still hanging loose in 2021 mm. so that we start well mm. and the lord will help us this week in the name of jesus amen we are reading the book of psalm 100 <laughs> verse 3 and verse 4 it says know ye that the lord he mm. is god mm. it is he that made us and not we ourselves mm. we are his people and the sheep of his pastures verse 4 says enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his cause with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Now, you know, if, if you just look at these scriptures, mm. um, just um, um, straightly, you, you, you just know that this is actually taking time to, to take inventory. Yes. You know, the psalmist said, Know ye that the Lord is, is God. God. But you see... Uh, it, it, it's, it looks as if um, he's, he's trying to, to bring our consciousness. He's, not, he's, not, he's actually trying to bring our consciousness to what to, we already know. To what we already know, <laughs> the place of God. Yes. But it is to now bring it into a consistent focus in our work with him, in all that we have seen this year, 
we should know that it has been God. It is He that has made us. Now, the word made us there is, I don't want to take it literally like uh, making, producing a human being, mm. but I want to see it like everything that has happened with you this year, your successes, your, 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 you know, your, 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 your trophies, the prizes you won, the testimonies you saw, the breakthroughs, even to some extent, the, the what looked like failures, they were all what God used to make 2021. If you are still alive, mm. that means God has made your year. God has, He, said he will crown the year with goodness okay. and His fat will drop fatness. fatness. And you know that uh, there is no way you can see, you see, can experience the, the effect of electricity without a negative and a positive. So everything that you see, God has used it to make you. God has used the bitter things that may have happened to make us better. Yes. He didn't make, he did, some of them were our mistakes. The psalmist said, if I had not been afflicted, I would not have learned, he wouldn't have known things better. Mm. There are examples, there are things that have happened this year that were not God against you, but God is, is touching you right now to look at them and rearrange your life and tell yourself, this is not what I should do. I shouldn't make these mistakes again. Are you hearing me? So know that he made us. All these things have made us. There were things that happened this year. You actually know it was not the way you intended for things to happen, but it may have made you to find out a different way to approach matters. Most of the time, you find out that the Bible says that, in, it does in Daniel, he said, and those of them that are of understanding shall fall and fail, that he may purge them, that they will become better. Hallelujah. Amen. So you find out that most things that have happened is it has been God making us. And there the psalmist said, He is the one who had lead, led us. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. If you are a sheep, then that means the shepherd took you out, brought you back. Every day in this year, God has been bringing us and bringing us out and taking us back to our fold. Even when we had strayed or when things had happened that looked like they were normal, God was there with His rod and His staff to correct and then to guide. And we want to acknowledge him Thank knowing you. that with all these things we can take a, a soul we can take a solemn inventory and begin to acknowledge where we were right where we were wrong and choose to position ourselves for a better 2022 and the bible says in verse 4 it says enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court it is an attitude of gratitude that enables God to say, okay, my daughter has come, my son has come. They understand that all these things, whatever has happened, it, it, it's all been me. The greatness is been me. The favors is been me. Hallelujah. The goodness is been me. And that is opening up a new channel for the year. Because like they say, when you are thankful for what God has done for you, it means you have been thinking well. And I pray that God will help us as we tidy up 2022, we shall see 2021. We shall enter into 2022 gloriously, gloriously Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor Joy, please. Hallelujah. Amen. We are blessed to see the end of 2021 according to God's plan and purposes for us. Hallelujah. You know, very clearly, there are people that began 2021 with us. They are not ending with us because they are no more here. But the Lord has deemed it fit to continue to expand. And there are, one, there are things that when they are in place, you are assured mm. that you will continue according to the plans and mm. purposes. One of them is to know. He said, know ye that the Lord, he is God. Mm. There are those who have not recognized the Lordship and the authority of God over what they do. And mm. they are cut up before their time. You will not be cut up before your time. Amen. As you are ending well, you will end and fulfill your destiny. And all the days God has planned for you on earth, you shall fulfill it. Mm. Look at that fool. The rich fool. He yeah. was cut short before his time. Now we are seeing the ending of 2021. We are tidying up things so that we can start and start well. As our topic says, ending well to start well. I want to begin by explaining this. Ending well to start well, we need to have this foundational truth that our lives are calibrated. Divine calibrations, mm. you can't add to it. Just like you come to raining season, it has to rain. You come to winter, of course, the snows must come. 
You come to Hamatan over there here in Africa, you see the Hamatan, you can't do anything about it. And when the rainy season comes again, the springtime follows and it goes and goes. There is nothing anybody can do. The calibrations of our life has been there. God is the one that put the times and the seasons. Mm. And it's good for us to understand the time. Now, some people, the year is ending, but there is a season of their life that might not end, but continues. Uh, the most important thing is for us to follow the pattern that we have perceived that God has put us. Some of the frustrations we have ever experienced is because we are trying to fit into something that we believe we should fit into. Instead of discovering what it is that God has for us, we are looking at at ending this year well to begin this year very well and it has to do with understanding the calibrations of our time and our seasons mm. and understanding that the Lord himself has the details of our life and I want to really refer to Psalm 139 Psalm 139 the Lord began to tell us in his word praise the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah verse 14 clearly said I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Remember the place where we read said the Lord our God, he is the one that made us mm. and not we ourselves. He said for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and my soul knoweth right well. 15 says my substance was not hid from thee when I was made in the secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. 16 says thy eyes did see my substance being unperfect. And in thy book, note that all my members were written, which in continuance we are fashioned as yet when there was none of them. You see God detailing our life. You see God calibrating our life. You see God assuring us today, I'm the one that made you. I made you and I made you for myself. I made you because I have a purpose for you. I made you because the seasons and the times that I have planned for you, you can't go outside of it. And that is why we see people frustrated. They are frustrated when they move out of the purposes and the plans of God for their life and try to establish something else for their life, what they feel or what they think. And that is the definition of frustration. But you live in peace and you move according to the spirit's leading because you have discovered that this is the plan of God for your life. Now that the year is coming to an end, it is a call for us to return and look deep into our life. Mm. Look at the pattern God is leading our life. In that ministry God has given you, you may want to establish some things. It might be part of God's plan, but it might not yet be time. You don't need to come to a place of frustrating yourself, trying to force your child that is four years old cannot impregnate a child or a woman because he has the potential but it's not yet time. You may be trying to do something because you have perceived it in your spirit. Mm. You need to sit down and say, Father, breathe upon me. Mm. Breathe upon the vision you have given me. L calibrate. Divine calibration. Calibrate and let me know the times and the seasons. The year may be coming to an end, but a particular dealing that you are working in my life may not be coming to an end. Let me understand so that I can bring, as we saw in the book of uh, Daniel chapter for we saw how it was that Nebuchadnezzar was declaring at the end of 12 months. I love that scripture because it says that God brings things to account. After he has been warned, after Daniel has told him the, the interpretation of that dream, the Bible says at the end of 12 months, everything began to happen. Why? Because the calibration of God is at work. And we are looking at coming, bringing our lives, our purposes, our intentions, at the work of our hands, the things that we do, and asking God, Father, we want to tidy up well. The places we have not understood your work in our life, the places you have not been able to you know, do well, Father, we are trusting you as we step into next year, as we step into 2021, mm. we will be able to look at the details of what you are doing and then fit in ourselves we are trusting god even if we did we, we we did not start the year well you know what i mean by starting well it's not just making declarations it's not just making prophecies it is actually aligning ourselves look at what jesus said he said lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me i come to do thy will mm. he didn't come to do his own will he said there is nothing i'm doing that is of my own for whatsoever i hear the father do that is it. what i see the father do what i hear the father tell me 
That is the same thing that I do. He didn't have his own intentions. And I believe that as we are ending the year, we are mm. not bringing our own ideas. Mm. We are not trying to do something and ask God to approve it. No, we are discovering what God has said. We are looking at the things we have not done it well, the places we have tried to move and try calling God's approval and endorsement in what we chose for ourselves. My dear, that is a full definition of frustration. Trying to do something and mm. bringing pulling and drawing God's oh. approval into it. Meanwhile, it is way out of what God has for us. We are tidying up our year and trusting God this week that the Lord will reveal to us those places that are still loose so that we can start well and then run with speed and fulfill destiny and purposes. Know ye that it is the Lord that made us mm. and not ourselves. Amen. He made us for a purpose. Mm. I love he God. made us for a reason. Ah, dear, and my dear. prayer for us is that we will understand the said. Mm. It is he that made us mm. and not we ourselves. Mm. How can we look for our own things when he's the, the one that made us is, is relegated to the background? We are asking God to, 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 to approve what we are choosing for ourselves. Mm. He is the one that made us, mm. not we ourselves. He mm. said we are like the sheep of his pasture. We are the people. We are his people. And we are the sheep of his pasture. You know the sheep? He does not go where he wants to go. Mm. He leads. He, that's why he calls, him his, he calls himself our shepherd. He leads us. He knows when we lie down in green pastures. Mm. He knows where he leads us besides still waters. He knows how to do with us every single detail. Amen. He is the one that made us for himself. It's not we ourselves. So we cannot run our own goals. No way. If you have a goal that you perceive God has given you, I believe it is time to sit over it mm. in prayers. Mm. Lord, you are laying this in my heart. Mm. Let me not run ahead of you and enter into frustration. Mm. Is it the time? What are the strategies? Mm. And God desires to take us at from one point to the next point as mm. we progress in expressing the greatness God has for us. Hallelujah. Praise the name Thank you, of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Pastor Joy. Mm, you you know, in, in essence, it, it just comes, it, it brings one thing to, my, uh, to mind that yes. acknowledging God gives you access mm. to God. Yes. It gives you access to God. Mm. And your greatest strength is your access with God. Mm. Your access to God. Your access with God. And the access to what God has what god knows what god's plans are mm. because if you run with your own intentions you may be in satanic detention mm. so you find out that it is essential that you sit down in this season yes that's why the acknowledging is saying know ye know ye know ye know it know, ye. know it the just the lord be, made us that, that he made you and if he has made sense. you you will be made by what he has made available for you yes you will be made of what he has made available for you so this is a time to take to take stock and to you know the isaiah said in isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 the first the first phrase is come now let us reason together yes come now let us reason, reason together. together so this is a time when you you have to reason with god mm -hmm. lord this is how the year when this is what happened there. now that begins to give you access to to taking inventory of what had happened in the course of the year. Where did you go wrong? Where did you go right? What, what was the prevalent sin that you had mm. to face? What were the mistakes you made, the consistent mistakes? What were the places where you took wrong decision? What were the things that God had told you that you didn't obey? Because they said that God's, your, your, your strength is the last obedience. Your strength mm. is in the last obedience that you obeyed God's instruction. Mm. So what did I obey? What did I disobey? What mm. is still hanging? What, where do I need help? Now, by the time you begin to reason with God like this, you are assessing the the wisdom of God. Mm. You are assessing the power of God. You are assessing divine direction. You are assessing divine instruction. You are assessing divine provision. Yes. You are assessing divine wisdom. You are assessing divine strength. Yes. You are now making God to intervene and to come into the affairs. And if your heart is willingly doing that, you now find out that God begins to tell you, don't do it this way, do it this way. Oh, this is what you should do this way. Why not close up this? Why not open up this? Why not talk to this person? Why not bring this person in? Now, that is what happened. And the Bible says also in that same place, we saw in the book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse 21, mm. it said, bring your strong reasons. Yes. 
Declare thou that. Declare thou that. Time. Bring your strong. So you find out that there is a, a. This is a time to assess the the mind of God. To mm. assess what God come up with 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 God. Just this is the time when you you look at the remaining days and design for yourself a time when you can have intervals with God. You know, yes, we are, we are with family. Some people will just blow through this year now. They are, in, they are just in, 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 how do I put it, in, in, in a fun fair mood, forgetting that it's a warfare mood. You are consistently programmed to be in, in, in a warfare mood as a Christian. So we, we have to understand that there is access available in such a time as this. And so the psalmist said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. So come in, look at all that God has done. Come with a heart of gratitude. Thank you, Jesus. And then begin to assess the instructions, the provision, Hallelujah. the rebukes, the correction. Mm. And then you will see that you are preparing yourself. Ready? So this week, you must believe God to assess divine instruction. And I pray that God Position will give you access. System. Will give you access to favors. Give you access to instruction. Give you access to provision. Give you access to divine revelations. Yes. Give you access to divine instruction. Divine give you access to strength. Where you failed last year, this year you will not fail. Amen. Where you failed this year or where you, you stumbled this year. As you assess God, you will see that next year it will be better. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Name but look at that place Jesus. in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. The scripture also makes it very clear come. he says he says come. very clearly he says Bless the Bible says you come together. to him let us reason he said though your though your sins may be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow yes. though they be red like crimson they shall, shall be, be as, as wool. wool that means that's access that's God making demand for access mm. that you should come to him and you can assess mercy you can assess a fresh start you can assess a new beginning you can assess a, 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 a new dimension Thank only you. if you will come. So, Pastor Jai, I want us Hallelujah. to go in that realm and then we can also pray that God gives people access to provision. What needs to be closed? There are those that you need divine intervention for certain things to end so that you have a fresh start. Pastor Jai, please. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We are praying that the Lord will help us to position ourselves aright to discover what we're supposed to do in this season. Mm. No stone will be left unturned. If not, it will show up next year. Mm. No stone Love will be left it. of turn. No, no mistake mm. should be left uncorrected. Jesus not that you're going mercy. to go back and re do. No. Repositioning yourself, the places you need to repent before God, and then taking a fresh start and mm. getting ready. Agabadash. I tell you that God is ready Any and willing. Dodosh. The reason why he left us is because of some of us have dealt in ignorance, mm. not in stubbornness, mm. not in disobedience, mm. but it's actually more of ignorance. Mm. And the Lord is willing to take us by the hand and show us his purpose for us. We are mm. going to pray. We pray for someone first and foremost who needs to be at peace with God. Yes. We start with that. Mm. Don't ever step into next day without being at peace with God. Mm. We live in a generation that when they give their life to Christ, they go and take it back again. Because Mess. they feel that, ah, Mess. this thing is not allowing me to express what I want to express. But we want to make sure that when you give your life to Christ, we encourage you to stay. Because we are living in a generation where decadent and weakening. The faith is being weakened every day. But I pray the Lord to strengthen you. And someone that are backslidden, someone that you are, you are really a Christian, but they are not really a Christian. So you are lukewarm. Mm. We want to pray as you dedicate your life to Jesus again. Say mm. after me, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Here I am. Here I am. I come to you again. I come to you. And again. I ask you. And I ask to you. Be my Lord to be my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. I hand over my life. I hand over my life. Back to you. Back to you. And I receive the grace. And I receive the grace. To walk in obedience. To walk in obedience. With you with you the remaining days of the my remaining life. days of my life i ask that i receive grace I ask that I receive for grace everywhere for everywhere and in everything and in everything that the enemy that the has enemy cheated me on cheated today me on. today father father i ask for grace i ask for grace in the name of jesus in the name of jesus. and for the people who knows that the details of what God wants to work in your life, you don't understand. You are going to pray mm. and say, Father, you have kept Bala me alive. Bala you didn't cut me off like that rich fool. But you have kept me alive Jesus. because you know that it is out of ignorance, not Bala out of Bala disobedience Bala that I don't know. And the places where I may have disobeyed you, Father, I ask for mercy. Mm. Just say after I'll say, Lord, Lord Jesus, I ask for mercy ask for over my destiny. Over my destiny. The, places the places I have gone wrong. Have gone I, wrong. Come I come and back and I ask as we are looking at this topic. 
ending well, 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 well to start well. Help me to end well in this 2021. Nothing remaining will be crossing over to 2022. Father, I receive grace to tidy up my life well in 2021. Lift up your voice and begin to pray briefly in the name of Jesus. Every attack of the enemy that makes people go round and round with that laying hold of people. Father, we declare today it is broken as the people come before you in prayer. I pray that they lay hold in their destiny and trust you to go forward and to fulfill your words in their lives in the name of Jesus. I pray that you receive grace. I pray you receive grace. I pray that every distraction is arrested. Every distraction the enemy is sponsoring over your life is arrested. You receive the grace to go forth as to continue to represent God. In the name of Jesus, you are ending this year well. You are ending well. The remaining few days of this year, you will end it well. And as you end it well, you will start next year empowered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You should pray one prayer, Lord. Access to insight, access to rebuke, access a hearing ear, a meek heart. That to assess instruction, assess mm. rebuke. Mm. I mean, that's all. Lord, access to a change of life, yes. access to a change of dimension, mm. access to favor, access to to provision, access mm. to wisdom. Father, the, the access that Jesus. my destiny needs. I ask that you be giving me this morning. I ask that you be giving me this morning and perpetually. Father, I ask that access to terminate the operations of iniquity around my destiny. The access of grace and mercy. And not to Zoko to wisdom, to knowledge, to understanding, to inspiration. In the name of Jesus. To favor, access to wisdom, access to boldness, access to Spiritual strength in the name of Jesus. Amen. Continue the day praying those prayers. What yes. Pastor Joy yes. prayed, what you prayed. Just, Wherever just I've been yes. careless, Lord, yes, I Lord. receive wisdom. In the name Where of I've Jesus. I have not been doing yes. well, Father Lord. Yes. I ask that you reveal to me yes. so that I will adjust them yes. and move forward yes. as we enter yes. into yes. the yes. Thank you, Father. It's well with you. Amen. Continue praying this Aga prayer Kola and Badash. get ready. Begin to look at the things that you know that the Lord will really wants to handle. And I tell you something, the Lord will show you. He will Amen. reveal to you. Amen. And then those things that the enemy will always come to see, I know him. He will be careless here. Waiting for you. He will wait for eternity. He won't see you around those in areas in your life Jesus. again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive grace. Yes. And let your day be full of joy. It's Allah a festive Badesh. season. Yeah. We're still celebrating and eating. I tell you, continue. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. In the name of of Have a blessed day. Hallelujah. We will see you tomorrow and get prepared. Oh, yes. That's the first nine. Hallelujah. Pass over to take over. Oh, yes. God bless you. <laughs> you see the details soon. Amen. God bless you. God bless Have you. a blessed day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.